Good evening and welcome to Van Wert High School. It is Division VI District Championship match this evening. We're in Northwest Ohio and our two opponents come from the North, the Midwest Athletic Conference. Two teams that know each other very well. That would be the number one ranked Coldwater Cavaliers and the number two ranked team in the state, St. Henry Redskins. My name is Mark Shine. My players do play by play. Alongside Mr. Dave Bowen. Dave, St. Henry, let's talk about them first. They're in a red uniform this evening and they were dominant against Crestview on Monday night. Yeah, Mark, great to be your wingman tonight for this district championship match and you are correct. St. Henry was a machine on Monday night against the Crestview Knights. Anything that Crestview tried to do didn't work, and anything that St. Henry did worked to perfection. 20 and four, eight and one in the MAC, finishes runner-up to the team they're competing against tonight in Coldwater. Some outstanding players in Ailey Fullencamp as a hitter, um, Lauren Tiemann as a setter, and Raya Busher, one of the best liberos you'll see in the area. The Coldwater Cavaliers, Dave, they come in at 24-0. They did win the MAC this year, and they defeated St. Henry 25-21, 29-27, 25-16 20, in regular season play. But we're in the tournament, as you reminded me just a moment ago, this is a scenario last year as well. It is. Last year, uh, Coldwater and St. Henry tangled three times. Coldwater took the first two matches, but they met in this very game, the district championship game, and St. Henry came away with a 3-1 to one victory and moved on following in the state Final Four to eventual state champion, Mentor Lake Catholic. But Coldwater, Nikki Etzler, this team is a testimony to excellence. 67-1 and one in all sets played this year, and they have just been a machine. They're going to have to continue to do that tonight. They'll be challenged. Coldwater has won seven of the last eight meetings between these two schools. And yes, the one loss was last year in this very game. We've got a little bit of summary from each team. It is the St. Henry Redskins, Coach Trisha Rosebeck's team against the Coldwater Cavaliers. That would be Nikki Etzler's team. Dave, you've given us a little idea about Coldwater as a team. How about some individuals to look for from the Cavaliers? Well, Mia Kanapke is an outstanding setter, and she just shares the volleyball, gets it to her hitters, and the number one hitter for this team is Morgan Blasen Game. When she rotates up to the front row, she can do it from behind the 10-foot line, but when she's on the front row, everybody in the Van Wert Gymnasium, the Cougars' den, they'll know it. And then Spencer Etzler, the player of the year in the Midwest Athletic Conference, she is a do-everything kind of girl. She'll dig it, she'll hit it, and she'll set it if she needs to. It's the Division VI District Championship match. The winner moves on to the North Mountain Regional on the 31st of October. We'll have the opening play coming up right after this. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. We're back at Van Wert High School in this Division VI District Final matchup. Our scoreboard today is brought to you by Burke Petroleum. Now offering propane for residential, farm, commercial, and industrial users. Burke Petroleum. Dependable, available, that's 800-776-3097. As you look at the floor here at Van Wert, on your right in the black uniforms with the orange trim would be the Coldwater Cavaliers. Their, their libero, Campbell Etzler, is in the white jersey. St. Henry's on the left of your screen. They are in the red jerseys with white numbers, and their libero also is in white this evening. That would be number zero, Raya Busher. Our officials this evening on our stand are our one tonight is Kim Egbert. Our two on the floor is Justine Curry. Our two line judges are Don Bryan and Larry Kaiser. Mark, we set the table in the pregame, but boy, it is time for some big girl volleyball. These two programs, outstanding programs, outstanding coaches. Trisha Rosenbeck in her 10th season, overall record of 209 and 51. Nikki Etzler in her ninth year, Coldwater, the current MAC Coach of the Year, record of 192 and 39. Kiara Kanapke will serve first for Coldwater, and we are underway. Hit to the back row. Lauren Tiemann will set, and out of the middle, that's the only Fullen camp. 
first point will go the way of the St. Henry Redskins. Give Full and Camp the kill. An uncharacteristic miss right there. One of the things you can talk about Coldwater is their defense. They simply do not let the ball hit the wood, but it does on that play, and St. Henry jumps out to the first lead. Hattie Holman rotates in to serve. Here's a set. Spencer Etzler goes down the line and got it right on the line, and we are tied at one. Spencer Etzler, number two in the MAC in kills with 307. Number two on her team because Morgan Blasengame, she leads that category all the way around with 388. Olivia Broering will enter to serve. Team has to try to run it down and cannot when we have our opening ace of the match. 2 1 Coldwater. I think we're seeing. Riley Kanapke, yes. She rotated in and yep. Olivia Broering rotated out. Okay. Correct. Both teams again a little nervous here in the early going. Team in sets. Wendell will tip it over. Molly, good play by the libero, Campbell Etzler. Team in sets Follenkamp, who tips an open spot, scores again. That's it's tied to two. Yep, Follenkamp's second. Kill here in the early going. Brianna Mangin, who wears number eight, she rotates in to play the back row, and Molly Wendell leaves in that particular circumstance. Good serve to the back row. Esler hits. Busher will set. How about that set from your libero? Esler again. She hits it off of Mangin. Coldwater leads 3-2. And that volley right there is what we're going to see all night long. Both teams take the best punch of the opponent, and then they still turn that defense into offense. First contact, critical. And again, in that volley, both teams do it effectively. Coldwater comes away with the point. Spencer Etzler's turn to serve. She had three aces when they met earlier this year. Busher will set. This will be free ball over by Bomber. Get down in the middle of the floor by Morgan Blassingame. It's 4-2 Cavaliers. Number six, Morgan Blassingame. We mentioned that she leads her team in the Mac and kills. She makes her presence known here in the early going with her first kill of the match. Etzler again to serve. Hit over by Abby Holman. And off a blocker, but a point will go to Harlow Hines. Who, Dave, she just had a tremendous match in here on Monday evening. Yeah, Harlow Hines got to be one of the most improved players on this Coldwater squad. She's a pup. She's a freshman. But, boy, she's playing like an upperclassman. 5-2 Cavs, first set. This will be free balled over by Balmer. The set from Mia Kanapke, that's blocked. Great defense. And I don't think that got over, did it? It did not. Four contacts would be the call. I was waiting for the official to signify that. It's 5-3, Coldwater still up with Wyatt Busher to serve. It was a short set from Kanapke to Blasengame, but St. Henry, they were ready for it. Ellie Fullenkamp with the block. They get the point. To Campbell Etzler, set. Hit by Blasting Game. 6 3 Cavs. Such muscle twitch. Morgan Blasting Game, she just, when her footwork is down, and she can make adjustments in midair, but when everything's perfect, it is so difficult to defend because she's going to bring it. Campbell Etzler, the libero, a freshman, serves for Coldwater. Pusher will set this one. This will be hit by Bomber. Set. That's hit over by Kanapke. And tipped to the back row. What a nice play by Carly Busher. Nicely done. Carly Busher picks up the soft kill, if you will, in the sense that she pushed it to the open corners. Coldwater defensively, you'll see at times they have all six players in front of the 10-foot line. St. Henry very cognizant of it right there. Lauren Tiemann serves for the Redskins. Or Mia Kanapke will set that one. Hit to the back row by Blasting Game. That point's going to go to Miley Kramer. No, it's still, no, it's still on. on. How about that? How about the play? Busher will set. Bomber hits. 
Kanapke hits. And nope. Double contact. You will not Six see five. that very often well, tonight with our two setters, Mia Kanapke and Lauren Teeman, but right there, double hit. And as you said, Dave, don't give up on any play. No. The, with either one of these teams, I was looking the ball on the floor. It wasn't. Really good play by the Cavaliers. Set. Hit to the back row. Is it in? No, it's out. She missed the backside. Right idea for Morgan Blasingame, trying to give St. Henry a little bit of their own medicine that they've served cold water, finding the corner. Blasingame goes just wide right there. We're tied at six. Etzler set. Tip to the middle of the floor. Give that point to Blasingame. 7-6. Her third kill on the night, she puts it right in the middle of the campfire, catches St. Henry going to the picnic table to get their hot dogs to cook them right there, finds an open spot. Mia Kanapke, Cavalier setter, will serve this ball. Team in sets. Busher, that's Carly's hit. That ball was hit by Broering. And the point will go to St. Henry, and we are tied at seven. Olivia Broing right there again. Her footwork, you could see she was stepping back and then just trying to make contact, unable to high point the ball, falls into the net. It's Morgan Bomber's turn to serve, first team all-conference player as a junior. And her serve is long. It's 8-7, Coldwater. When these two teams played during the regular season, Coldwater took command in the first set, and then St. Henry had a really, really good second set. Right now, St. Henry's here at the beginning. That hit was by Busher, tipped over. Bomber hits to the back row. Spencer Etzler comes to get this one, roll shot over. Teeman will set. Molly Wendell. Etzler again, down the line again. Bombers there. Wendell again. How about this point? Settle in. Block. Etzler pushes it over. St. Henry looking to be offensive, and they find the and hole. they do. Carly Busher, second team all-conference player. Finds a spot right by the sideline and scores. You can see the game plan for both teams. They both know how to handle the fastball. So both squads, yeah, they're bringing the fastball, but they're looking to show the changeup with their kill shots as well. That one falls harmlessly to the floor. Olivia Gast will enter and play the back row after she serves this ball. That's their tips. Gas got a hand on it, but couldn't keep it in play. It's 9-8, Coldwater. Another soft shot right there. And after she serves, she will be replaced by the libero, Rob Busher. Kara Kanapke serves. Wendell on the overpass, douse at the net. That point goes to the Cavaliers. I think that was Olivia Broering played that one, I think. I agree, yes. Olivia Broering at the net wins that joust. And, yeah, if you overpass at all, the other mm. team, they are going to make you pay. We haven't seen it until right there in this first set. Kira Kanapke will serve again. There's a team in set to Wendell. An awful blocker. Wow. Hain hit that, Hain hit that one. This is Spencer Etzler. Wendell got to it. Did a great job getting off the net, did Molly Wendell. Kramer has to play it over, free ball. Etzler tips, but it's blocked by Wendell. And that ball's hit into the net by Morgan Blassingame. The point will go to St. Henry at 10-9. Blassingame was behind the 10-foot line, didn't quite high point that one, and hit it into the net, but again, both teams doing a great job with their defense on that first contact in that volley. Yeah, Addie Holman enters, serves. Good line drive serve from here. Spencer Etzler goes cross court this time to Busher. They play it, oh, they got it. Played it out of the net and got it over. Tough angle. Etzler, <laughs> don't give me another chance. Yeah. yeah. Oh, 
the, the, she made the adjustment. Ryan Busher's eight ball corner pocket. I'm going to go down the line to keep it away from her, and she does, and she put it on the wood. Briley Kanapke serves. Teeman will set. Wendell and roll along the net and went out. Molly Wendell, very effective front left. That time she puts it on the tape and it just carries too long on the tape and goes harmlessly out of bounds. Coldwater was up 6-3. They're now up 12-9 and now 13-9 on the ace. And right here again is where you got to batten down the hatches if you're St. Henry. You can't let Coldwater build up. Momentum and a lead here in the middle of the set. Burke Petroleum is our scoreboard sponsor. Team and tips it over, and she got into the net. Look for Coach Rosenbeck to take a timeout here, Mark. That she does. It is 14-9, Coldwater in the opening set. Timeout, St. Henry. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Burke Petroleum is now offering propane for residential, farm, commercial, and industrial users. Burke Petroleum, dependable, available, 800-776-3097. And they are our scoreboard sponsor this evening. Mark, Coldwater's gone from 10-9 to 14-9, Dave. Yeah, I, I really like the timeout by Coach Rosenbeck right there. Try and squelch this run, break the momentum. This St. Henry club, they, they can do that, as we've seen already. They have the ability. They just got to buckle down and refocus. Riley Kanapke serve. Ball's tipped over by Follenkamp. Set by Mia Kanapke, hit by Etzler to Busher. Follenkamp again. There's... Just what Coach Rosenbeck wanted exactly. coming out of timeout. There's the short set. Lauren Tiemann and Ellie Fullenkamp, a couple of seniors. They've been doing that since seventh grade, probably before that as well. Maybe not the short set over the net right there. Um, but who knows? Maybe they were as tall as they are now back then, Mark. <laughs> Brianna Mingem will serve. That's blocked. Give that one to Morgan Bomber. 14-11, timeouts proving successful for Coach Rosenbeck as Mangin will serve again. Morgan Bomber picks up her 13th block on the season. The defense around those blocks on both sides of the net is so good, it's hard to get one down. Etzler just tips, but Busher gets to it. Out of the middle is Follenkamp. Follenkamp slide play. Hit from the back row. Give that point to Morgan Blassie game. She is having a big opening set. Fourth kill in the opening set for number six, the senior first team max selection, Morgan Blassie game. Spencer Etzler will serve. Busher will set this ball. Balmer hits. That ball's played over by Mia Kanapke. And eventually they're going to get a point out of it. Give it to Harlow Hain. Yeah. Harlow Hain with the Hine. kill. Again, I would love to know the drills that Coldwater does. Their reaction to a block, to a quick hit back over. It's impeccable. They are so good at it. Spencer Etzler serve. And that's going to be a point. 17-11. It's a six-point cab lead. Spencer Etzler with her first ace of the match, 58 on the season, second in that category in the mat, first for Coldwater. Etzler again to serve. Bomber hits, <laughs> almost got the line judge. You got to stay locked in. You might <laughs> have on. to take one for the team over there. We'll get ice for you afterwards, Mark. That's for the, that line judge. Esler served three consecutive points. <laughs> we'll serve again. <laughs> Set. Fullenkamp's shot is blocked out of bounds. Hine was there. So was Blaston game. One out of bounds. So Fullenkamp picks up her fourth kill of the set. 18-12 with Busher to serve. The Redskins, they got to go on a little run here. Campbell Esler. Set. Blasting game hits. Busher hits out of the middle. It's Carly Busher gets a point. Again, 
Not going with the fastball, finding the open area. May have caught Campbell Edsler leaning to her left a little bit there as well. 18-13. Blasting game will hit and score. 19-13. Number five as far as kills for blasting game, and she brought the fastball right there. Campbell Etzler's turn to serve, the freshman libero, who was a second team all-conference player this year. Campbell and Spencer are sisters, and they are the daughters of the head coach and varsity assistant, Nikki and Mike Etzler, for Coldwater. Carly Busher will hit. Can anybody touch it? Does not look so. It is 2013. Cavaliers, timeout. This one to St. Henry. They trail by seven in the opening set. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. We're pleased to announce a new pricing for the WSN streaming service. For only $8 per month, you can watch WSN anytime and anywhere. Sign up today at app.wsn.tv, also available on Roco and Apple TV. You know, Mark, St. Henry's been good defensively, but Coldwater's put it on display. I think, I think we should just put a sign on Coldwater's side of the net that just has that says no drop zone. They just never let the ball hit the floor, and that is the strength of this team. And then transitioning to offense, just so tough. And Cam Boesler will chalk up an ace as she drills one coming out of the timeout. Campbell had 20, 37 aces coming into tonight's action. Third on the team, and again, Coach Tricia Rose, Rosenbeck takes that timeout. That's the last thing you want to have happen coming out of it, an ace by your opponent. And again, to Manjin, Busher sets, Bomber hits. Morgan Bomber ends that run for her team at 21-14. Bomber's first kill of the match. She has 210 on the season, second for St. Henry. And that first contact, that serve receive, even though they got the kill out of that, Busher had to do the setting. They gotta do a better job of passing up to the setter. Miley Kramer enters the play in the front row. Blasting game will tip. Teeman got a hand on it. Bomber hit that one. Blasting game goes off a blocker and scores again, 22-14. Kill number six for Morgan Blasting game. 5'11", senior, first team all-conference player with 388 kills in 68 sets before this evening. Yeah, it's just so impressive of what she's done in that category. Set to the middle for Bomber, she gets it to Etzler. Straight up in the air it goes. Busher, blasting game, tips to the back row, and she missed the back row. Coldwater wants a touch, and nobody has it. It's 22-15. Morgan Bomber packs so much power in that frame of hers. Five foot six inches tall. That might be the hardest ball hit from St. Henry's side of the net thus far. She serves as the first team all-conference player, just a junior. Good serve. Just kept riding up. Broaring hits. Carly Busher. 22-16. Kill number four for Carly. 22-16. St. Henry looking to neutralize the momentum. Morgan Bomber had 25 aces in this evening. St. Henry had played 62 sets before this evening, and that one goes way long, 23-16. St. Henry's last loss to Ottawa Glendorf back on September 28 at the Lady Night Invite. They've just consistently improved. Etzler has to go save that one. That's there it block. is. Wow. Set again, Molly Wendell will tip to an open area where Campbell Etzler gets to it. And that ball's hit and put away by Paige Ontrop. Her first of the season, I think. Dave. It is, her 48th on the season, but first one tonight. And again, we saw that defense from Coldwater. Everybody up in front of the 10-foot line, and they make it work. Wasn't the best set in the world, but Ontrop put it where they ain't on the other side of the net. 
Cavaliers need one point to take the opening set. They just got it. Coldwater, 25, St. Henry, 16, opening set. Second set coming up after this. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Our scoreboard today at Van Ward is brought to you by Burke Petroleum, offering propane for residential, farm, commercial, and industrial users. Burke Petroleum, dependable, available, 800-776-3097. Well, Dave, in the regular season, first set went Coldwater, the second set went 29-27. Coldwater won, but St. Henry needs to rebound and have a set like that right now. They absolutely do, and they have the ability to do that. Coach Rosenbeck down there really doing a lot of coaching, as is Coach Etzler, and... Up to that point, Coldwater still, when they uh, played St. Henry the first time, had not lost a set at all yet. So they were carrying that, I'm not going to say albatross, but that was in the back of their mind. St. Henry wanted to crack that, that vault, if you will, but they weren't able to do it. But right now, you're right, Mark, St. Henry, they don't want to go down 2-0 against this Coldwater Club. They've really got to lay it all on the line here in set number two. Dave, we have talked all year long at our telecast about how good MAC volleyball is. I'm looking out here this evening. I see five different St. Henry Redskins, our first or second team all-conference, and there are four different Coldwater Cavaliers, our first or second team all-conference. That's nine players in a really talented league, make first or second all team. Absolutely. I would take all of those conference honorees, put them on one team, and I'd take on the rest of the state, any division. Get ready for action here in set number two. And I see Raya Busher walking around, really trying to get her teammates fired up. First team all conference player, libero, very sparky type player. And let's see if they can get things going here as Looks like Lauren Tiemann will be their first setter here in set number two. Two tradition-rich program. we, programs. We mentioned that at the top of the show. Coldwater with five MAC championships, but zero state championships. That all-elusive state championship in volleyball, that's their goal this year. Here's Tiemann to serve. Spencer Etzler rolls it over. Busher will set to the far side to Bomber. She rolls it over as well. Cam Wessler sets her sister, and Spencer puts it away. It's 1-0 Cavs. Etzler with her fifth kill tonight sets tone here in the early part of set number two. Spencer going to Stanford to play volleyball. Briley Kanapke will enter and serve. She said earlier she rotates in and out with Olivia Broering. Depending on who's in the front row, who's in the back. Spencer Esther again. Set to the middle. Carly Busher pushed that one to the back row. Bomber gets it off a blocker. Oh, how high was Spencer Yeah, Esther, she's babe? over the net. How about that? She waited till the ball got into the plane of the net. Perfect timing and went up and put it straight down. Five foot eight inches tall is Spencer Etzler, but that one right there on St. Henry's side of the net, she looked like she was about seven foot. Set again. Harley Busher. Hit over by Hine. Raya Busher again. Raya Busher, um, Carly Busher, excuse me, out of the middle gets it blocked. Spencer Etzler yep. with the block. And here's the other facet. The leading, uh, the leader in kills for Coldwater, Morgan Blasen game. She has the best dig of that volley. Set out of the middle, and that time Carly Busher will not be denied. That's the exact phrase I was thinking about. She would not be denied. They needed to get on the board. Carly Busher with her fifth kill of the night. And St. Henry. All they have are 29 MAC championships and seven state championships. Uh, they lead the MAC in championships at the MAC level. That ball's blocked by Wendell. And double contact will go against Coldwater, so it's 3 2 with Morgan Balmer serving.
To the back row it goes to Campbell Etzler. Spencer Etzler pushes it. The bomber gets to it. Carly Busher pushed it to the back row. But the play by Wendell to keep it alive. And then Bomber got to it. Esther's going to go hard this time and hit it out. Molly Wendell, she does a good job of playing dodgeball. She got off the net to play defense there, but since that that ball was cut too far, and it does sail wide. Bomber had a great, great defensive stand in that volley for St. Henry. St. Henry has not led in either set tonight. See if they get a point right here. And they do. Right there at the net from the block. Carly Busher, first time lead this evening for St. Henry. And her first block of the night for a point. 39 on the year for Busher. Bomber will serve again. Morgan with a hard drive that went out. We're tied at four. You know, Mark, you, you wonder, Coldwater, 67-1 in all sets. They just have not been tested, and that's what, if you're a St. Henry fan, the St. Henry coaching staff, let's hang around. Let's, let's put some pressure on them and just see how things play out. And uh, right now, they've got the lead, or I guess it's tied here in the early part of the second set. Well, we're moving a cameraman around who happens to be in play. Spencer Etzler will serve. Tipped out of the middle, Busher. Blasting game will hit off a blocker, but Bomber gets to it. Great dig by Bomber. And Wendell shot comes up a bit short. 5-4 Cavaliers. I love Molly Wendell's reaction after the ball hit the net. She jumped in a 360. Yeah, she's upset with herself, but to a certain extent, she's just excited to be out there. And that's what St. Henry, they had to play loose and free. Spencer Etzler's serve. Spencer chocks up an ace in his 6-4. So after trailing 4-3, last three points have gone to the Cavaliers. That lead didn't last very long. It did not. St. Henry got to put a wall up here defensively and then get in attack mode. Esther floats another serve over. Raya Busher gets to it. Carly Busher's blocked. Molly Wendell on the other side, and Molly hits one straight down. It's 6-5. Coldwater still ahead. Molly Wendell with her first kill of the night. That's her pet play right there. And she executed it to perfection. Showed a lot of excitement as well. Raya Busher will serve 18 aces, 349 digs from her libero position this year. Morgan Blasting game will hit to the middle of the floor, just past the 10 foot line, and gets it in front of the diving Morgan Bomber in 7 5. You talk about digs and the max stats. Coldwater, number one, and digs per set at 18.1. Who's number two? St. Henry at 17.9. Campbell Etzler serves. Teeman will set Molly Wendell. Kanapke will set, this time, Kara Kanapke. And that point will go to Coldwater, 8-5. That's Kara Kanapke's first kill of the night. And this is where... The versatility of Mia Kanapke using all of her weapons seems to come into play. Towards the middle of every set, she starts sharing the volleyball and keeps all the hitters involved. Raya Busher has to set a long way. It'll be free balled over by Wendell. Diving play by Spencer Etzler. Blocked by Wendell, point for her. Nicely Eight done, six. yes. Molly Wendell with her 13th block of the season. That one could not have come at a better time. Entering to serve will be Addie Holman. She had two aces when they met during the regular season. Window having a rotation here right now for St. Henry. She's hot. Teeman's got to look to go to her. Blasting game. Ellie well, Fullenkamp hit it out. Just a Whoa. little bit wide. Ellie Fullenkamp, when she's coming out of the middle, she's so dangerous because she can go right, left, down the middle, over the block, but that one cut it just a little too much. Olivia Broering enters to play in the front row as Mia Kanapke serves. Fullenkamp hits Spencer Retzler 
Got ran into by a freight train that time. It's 9 <laughs> 7. That ball had some smoke to it. It did, and a great back set by Lauren Teeman for the slide play. And you're right, put a radar gun on that one. Brianna Manson, her team trails by two. Blasted game hits to Manson. Teeman will set. Balmer hits. Look at Unbelievable. that. Unbelievable. The dive by Mia Kanapke to keep it alive and then the kill. Yes. That's what you see in the Coldwater faithful on their feet showing their respect and love of that play right there by the, the Coldwater Cavaliers. Here's Morgan blasting game to serve. Good serve. I thought that was in the net. And it's 11-7 after misplayed by St. Henry. You know, Dave, in the last set, it was 10-9 Coldwater, and they went on a run, and it has that look right here. It does, and this is what Coldwater does. Out of the middle, Balmer hits. Set from Campbell Etzler. Spencer Etzler got it in. Etzler, eight ball, corner pocket, kill number seven on the night, and Coach Rosenbeck, St. Henry, they're going to talk about it. It's 12-7, Coldwater in set two. Back in a moment with high school tournament volleyball on WOSN. We're back at Van Wert, the Three Wise Men podcast with Danny Holbrook, Miles Holiday, and Nate Garlock each week as they break down local football matches talk Buckeye football and discuss sports throughout Ohio. Catch that at WOSN. Yeah, it's a great podcast. They bring on local coaches and local players as well. And it's a great, great atmosphere and a great sharing. You want to you want to listen in, folks. Morgan Blasting game with her team up by five. She lines right She is on one. point, yes. Morgan Bomber hits. That will go off of Mia Kanapke. So Henry gets a point coming out of the timeout. That was very impressive by St. Henry to be able to transition that into offense and get the point on the kill by Bomber because Blasen game, she was back there firing missiles. Olivia Gass will enter and serve. Set, Spencer Etzler hits and scores. 13-8. You just don't string many points together against them. You know, getting one of those four, six, eight point yeah, runs just yeah. doesn't happen against yeah. Coldwater. No, their defense is just so strong, and then they transition into offense. They do not get bored with success, Mark. They just keep bringing it and keep getting better. They are a an example of, a, of success. Kara Kanapke serves this ball. Morgan Bomber will hit. Last the game will set Spencer Etzler. And Carly Busher emphatically replies at 13-9. Six kills for Busher. She leads St. Henry in that category tonight. In this particular set, St. Henry has scored just three points on service in this set. And they will do so here with Lauren Tiemann trying to get some points on the board for her team. Blasting game sets. Spencer Etzler to Raya Busher, hit over again. Carly Busher that time. Morgan blasting game from behind the 10 foot line. <laughs> wow, both ways, punch, counter punch. Ali Frazier. Now a lot of our young people don't no. know who I'm talking about, do they, Mark? No. But man, just, there's no rope-a-dope in here. They're both swinging. Here's Briley Kanapke in to serve. Teeman will set. Busher's shot is blocked by Hine, and she scores 15-9. That's Harlow's 32nd block on the season. She's tied for second on the squad with Paige Antra. Briley Kanapke with 16 aces on the season. Serves again. Morgan Bomber hits. Campbell Wetzler gets to that one. And from behind the 10-foot line, 
Shot missed by Morgan Blastingame, makes it 15-10. Morgan Bomber, I'm glad that one hit the tape because it might have injured somebody on cold water side of the net. I've never seen a player put their whole body into the swing like she did on that one. And Morgan will serve. Spencer Etzler from the other side of the court this time. Tipped over by Carly Busher. And this time Busher out of the middle gets it blocked. Hine blocked that one. Busher again. Woo! This time Blasting Game gets it. Busher again. Tipped over. Bomber from behind the three 10 foot line. And Hine out of the middle. Saran wrap defense by Coldwater. Just so impressive. St. Henry bringing their A game, and there's nothing they can do with any consistency. This defense in the black shirt's just incredible. It is Spencer Etzler's turn to serve at 16-10. Wendell has to run a long way to get that one. Blasting game shot is blocked, but it's blocked out of bounds by Carly Busher. It is 17-10. Coldwater looking to run away and hide here in set number two. Coach Rosenbeck's got to think about using that second timeout sooner than later. Etzler floats it over to Raya Busher. Carly Busher pushes it. Spencer Etzler gets to it. Blasting game gets it blocked. And Spencer Etzler just dumped it over the net and gets a point for her team at 18-10. 18-10, and we're looking at a second St. Henry Redskin timeout. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Scoreboard tonight brought to you by Burke Petroleum, now offering propane for residential farms, commercial, and industrial users. Brick Petroleum, dependable, available, 800-776-3097. Mr. Bowen just grabbed his phone looking for a thesaurus. <laughs> yeah. Trying to find some adjectives for how well Coldwater's playing right now. Yeah, and I love what Coach Rosenbach, she is trying to motivate her squad over there, but they're not doing anything they're, wrong. They're not playing badly yes. at all. They're just having a team that's really playing well right now yeah. in the Coldwater Cavaliers. It is 18-10. St. Henry has used both of their timeouts. Cold water, they're just as cold as a frozen faced emoji right now. Here's Spencer Etzler to serve. Is that in your thesaurus book? Well, it's okay. somewhere. <laughs> Wendell hits. Coming there you out of go. a timeout. Yep, they break it. Good timeout. Both times that St. Henry has called timeout, they scored on the next point. Now they can see if Ryan Busher can get some points going for him. 18 aces, 36 assists as a libero this year. She dives one over. Blasting game will set. That hit goes to the typical setter of Mia Kanapke. They just changed places, Dave. They did, and you can see all the way from up here, Kanapke's eyes are like, oh, I get to hit one well, intentionally. She does have 90 she kills does. on the season yes. as their setter. And that's the third place, but a lot of those are going over on two. Set. Ellie Folenkamp tips. Blasting game hits. Folenkamp again. This time she scores. Ellie did a back row. 19-12, Coldwater. And if, if St. Henry's going to get back in this one or in this match, if they fall in set number two, Ellie Folenkamp, she's got to rise to the occasion, and they've got to go to her as often as they can. Addie Holman's turn to serve. And she line drives it out. We talk about risk and reward with serving. You got to put something on it to try and put the defense or at a disadvantage where they can't transition to offense. But right now, St. Henry, you got to get the ball in. You can't give away free points. Mia Kanapke will serve. Molly Wendell will hit off of two blockers. <laughs> and then Blasting Game comes back and gets another one. A one-handed <laughs> set by Mia Kanapke with her right hand up against the net. First team all-conference is Mia as a junior. Not only was that impressive, but Blasting Game was ready for it. 
Set from the back row, Morgan Bomber leaves it in the net. It's 22-12. The number one and number two ranked teams in the polls playing here this evening. Coldwater is flexing their muscles and showing you why they were number one in the poll. Wendell again, this time she tips it over and scores at 22-13. Picks up her third kill of the match. And back to serve is Brianna Mangin. Brianna has 25 aces this season. And she got one right there. Big point for her at 22-14. Her 26 ace on the season. Mangin again serves to the middle of the floor. Set. Plastic game gets it blocked. But right to Campbell Etzler. Hit by Olivia Broering. Say Henry playing some defense. Set again, and Plastic Games blocked again. Broering hits again and scores. I would just like to know the stat, Mark, of how many times a cold water hitter gets her shot, gets her kill blocked, but yet she's the first one that hits it to keep it alive. Blasen Game did it right there. 23-14, had to wait for the scoreboard to put that one up. That line drives to the net, it's played out of the net, however, by Tiemann. Set, here's Tiemann set again. Follenkamp hits, and she scores. 23-15. Seventh kill of the night for Ellie Follenkamp. And it is Olivia's Gast's turn to serve for St. Henry. And that ball dives into the net. It is 24-15. Coldwater looking at set point right here in set number two. And they will do so with the service of Kira Kanapke. Mangin plays it. Free ball over by Morgan Bomber. Set by Blasting Game. And Spencer Etzler hits it. Good defense by yep. Mangin. Free ball over. Out of the middle. That hit. And that will be a point. Harlow Hine gets the final point of set number two. And it will be a 25-15 second set victory for Coldwater. They will lead two sets to none as we go to set number three. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Back at Van Wert, we're heading for set number three. Our scoreboard tonight brought to you by Brook Petroleum. They're now offering propane for residential, farm, commercial, and industrial users. Brook Petroleum. Dependable, available, 800-776-3097. Well, Dave Bowen, I don't think San Henry is playing badly. I think they're Not playing okay. I just think Coldwater's on another level right now. I agree. Uh, coming into this match, we said it's the unstoppable force versus the immovable object. You can put whichever moniker you want to on Coldwater, and they have taken that ledger as far as this match up to this point again you're not out of it yet you get to start at zero to zero but St. Henry they got to find something out there the thing about volleyball when you hit the ball over the net there's nothing you can do until it comes back over and right now cold water they're just executing so effectively on their side of the net uh, while we have a moment Dave I want to throw a, a prop out in this particular area this is a big gymnasium it's 85 to 90 percent full it tonight. Is. Both of these teams have turned out their crowds very, very well. Our camera angle, you can see what goes on, on the St. Henry side. Coldwater side is equally full. It's a huge crowd, and congratulations to both programs for the interest they've built in volleyball in their school. Yeah, that's what I love about high school sports. Everybody coming out to support their teams, and we, it is on display tonight in this district championship match. Coldwater will serve in set three first. It's done so by Kara Kanapke. 
And the opening point this time will go to Carly Busher. Playing free and easy is Carly Busher. They've got to have more nerves than a skydiver right now as they look to attempt a reverse well, sweep. Here, That's here, what they're going to have to do. Here's something important. In set number two, St. Henry had 11 serve opportunities and scored on just two of them. And they're not going to score on this one. We're tied at one, thanks to Spencer Etzler's kill. That's her 10th on the night. <laughs> you want to say you just can't go mano e mano. you got to put a run on. Well, it's easy to say it. Sure. But to put it into action is another piece. It's probably Kanapke's turn to serve. Set, hit. That was Carly Busher. Esther's going to get another opportunity. Hits it to Raya Busher and scores. You know you're doing something when Raya Busher can't dig it out. She's unable to do that one on Spencer Etzler's kill attempt. I am a fan of libero play, and I've been watching Raya Busher for years. I really like how she plays this game. There she got her, her turn up to Tiemann. Molly Wendell hits, and what's the call? <laughs> Line judge down yeah. to Balin. I think it went in. Yeah, I think it's in. I think he's right now thinking, I, I, I didn't know. I, I'm not getting paid enough for this right now. <laughs> We're tied at two with Raya Busher to serve. Mia Kanapke sets, hit to the back row to Bomber. That's hit by Kramer. But the ball comes back. Coldwater scores again. It's 3-2. I believe Spencer Etzler with the block. And Spencer Etzler will serve. Good serve from Spencer Etzler. Ellie Follenkamp hits to Campbell Etzler. Blasting game hit that one, but to Busher. Bomber from the back row, rolls it over and scores. Nice job by Morgan Bomber picking up her third kill, and that might be the first one that we've seen dumped into the campfire against Coldwater all night long. We're tied at three as Addie Holman serves. Very talented freshman. Spencer Esther will set, and Blasting Game couldn't get to it to push it over. So there's a point for St. Henry on yeah. serve. Unforced air on Coldwater's side of the net. Maybe a thin crack in the armor right here, Mark. Let's see if St. Henry can build on it. 4-3, St. Henry. Passing game hits. That's blocked by Camp and Wendell. We're both there. Wendell hits this one. Cam Wetzler with a save. Molly Wendell again, and she hits it into Harlow Hine and scores. Wendell comes over to the center on that one, not in her typical left front, and she blasts it into the block and gets the point. 5-3 St. Henry. Morgan Blast again will get this hit. Wendell again from behind the 10-foot line this time. Passing game winds up again, hits it to Busher. Addie Holman hits. Tipped over, Busher got to that one. Raya, and she free balls this one over. And Morgan Blassie game finally scores. Momentum trying to find its way to St. Henry's side of the net, but that long volley goes Coldwater's way. They cut the lead to one. Campbell Etzler serves. Follencamp scores. There's that short set. We haven't seen it with any consistency tonight for St. Henry, but Tiemann and Follencamp, again, they execute it to perfection right there. It's 6-4 St. Henry the last time they led. It was 4-3 in the second set. Up by two here. Brianna Mangin serves. Morgan Blassie game got off a blocker and 
Good diving attempt, but unable to keep it in play was Addie Holman. Kill, Six, no five. kill number 12 for Morgan. And Mia Kanapke serves. 757 assists this year in 68 sets. Spencer Etzler had that one. Ellie Follenkamp hits. Spencer Etzler sets. And driving it right down the line is Paige Ontrop. Paige Ontrop rolling snake eyes down the line. St. Henry, they try to get to it, but you got to give up something a little bit at times defensively on a kill attempt. Coldwater takes advantage. Six all. Busher. Bomber hits. <laughs> Pushed over by Olivia Broering. Back set. Broering going to get another opportunity. That's blocked by Follenkamp. Hits it again. Broering says one more time. Morgan Bomber hits it to Etzler again. Velocity. A Broering again. Was that a touch? Nobody had a touch. 7-6 St. Henry. They finally win a long point. They haven't won many long points they this season. They have not, but they are battling yes, here are. in set number three. Olivia Gass turned to serve. And she got an ace. Line driving through the back row. Campbell Esther thought it was headed out of bounds. It dove down, stayed in play. 8-6 St. Henry. Gas picks up her 28th ace on the season, third on the team in that category. And she serves again. More than blasting game. Goes over the block attempt by St. Henry. Gas had to take that one in the back row. She's like, come on, help me out. Well, we're up there. Nothing else we can do. Morgan Blast the game will serve. 5'11 senior, first team all conference player. And chucks up an ace. She had 51 before this evening. Give her another one right there. We're tied at eight. She has two on the night. And as you said, tied at eight. This is where I was hoping as far as, you know, the way St. Henry's playing in this set, they can maintain this lead. But here come the Cavaliers. 9-8. St. Henry, very few service errors for either team tonight. Very few, very few. Lauren Tiemann's turn to serve. 703 assists this season in 62 sets. And now she serves. Set, Spencer Essler hits off a blocker. And Carly Essler hit that, or Carly Pusher hit that one. Illegal contact makes it 10-8. Carly Busher's eighth kill on the night. Laurentina will serve again. St. Henry up two. She had 30 assists when these two teams met earlier this year. Set. Off a of blocker on the other side. Give that one to uh, is that Briley Connecting. I think it was Paige Ontrop. Paige Ontrop. Look at the wrong number. Her you third. Know, Third kill she doesn't night. get set a lot, but she's been effective exactly. when they set her. Exactly. In hoops, it's like a, a defensive specialist that gets you a couple garbage buckets every night. Riley Busher pushes it to the back. Riley <laughs> Busher pushes it to the back row, but it kicks legal. Yes. And she hits it again. That's Bomber hit that one. But kicking is legal in uh, volleyball, has been for the last few years. 11-9. Bomber picks up her fourth kill tonight. And Morgan will serve. First two sets. This is where Coldwater's made their run. St. Henry appears to have made the adjustment here in the middle, set number three. This set will go to Spencer Etzler. And now Molly Wendell tips the ball to the middle of the floor, and they keep it alive again. St. Henry tried to get it to the corner. And Spencer Etzler. Spencer Etzler says, here's your corner. 
Goes cross court for her 12th kill of the night. You know, it seems like she gets a lot of points going down the line, and then she mixes it up and goes cross court on you. And you don't know where she's going until the ball makes contact with her hand. Probably Kanapke with a good serve. And out of the middle, give that one to Carly Busher. Number nine for Carly Busher. St. Henry hanging in there in this set with a two-point lead at 12-10. Ellie Fullenkamp back in the set. With Raya Busher set to serve. Oh, Esther shots blocked. Molly Wendell shots blocked. That was Hein, wasn't it? Yes, it was. Harley Hein picks up her second block. Oh, my goodness. Here's Spencer Etzler to serve. It was like St. Henry. It was like, where'd she come from? You rotated people out. And they just bring another one in. Harlow Hine, 5'11", freshman. Molly Wendell's hit goes to Campbell Etzler. There's Hine with a tip. Follenkamp hits it to the back row. Dumped over that time by Mia Kanapke on a smart play. Give her the kill. Both liberos, Campbell Etzler and Raya Busher, put their skills on display in that volley. And then Kanapke with the heady play. And now we're tied at 12 with Spencer Etzler to serve again. And the pass was long, and it backed Lauren Tiemann into the net. And Coldwater's up 13-12. Have we not seen this movie before, Dave? Exactly. We get to this part of the set, and yep. it seems like Coldwater finds another gear. They find another gear, and maybe the only piece that I can see in the St. Henry armor that's cracked a little bit, sometimes serve-receive, they don't take advantage of things. Well, they did take advantage of Ellie Fullenkamp being in the front row and tied it at 13. That's her ninth kill of the, of the match. And it's, it's just off just a little. It's not like it's it's horrible or anything, but just enough to where you can't stay on your A game and, and Coldwater takes advantage of it. Addie Holman serves. Blasting game. Morgan makes it 14-13. Coldwater in set three on our Brick Petroleum scoreboard with Campbell Etzler to serve. Coldwater with 14 points. Blasting game with 14 kills. 37 aces for her this season. Set, Molly Wendell. Just gonna be pushed over by Kanapke. See if St. Henry can take advantage of it. And right down the line goes Ellie Follenkamp to tie it at 14. Kill number 10 for Follenkamp. Ellie had 17 kills when they matched up earlier this year in that three-set victory that Coldwater pulled off. Brianna Mangin will serve. Blasting game goes through the block of Fulton Camp and gets the ball back for her team with a one-point lead. They had to execute it, but once I saw Blasting game attacking from behind the 10-foot line with the ball in front of her and Kanapke setting it, I'm like, uh-oh, I think this is gonna be a point. As Mia Kanapke serves, Paige Ontrop enters to play in the front row. Follenkamp will tip this time. She set up Morgan Balmer on an overpass, and Balmer made him pay for it at 15 all. She most certainly did. That's Morgan's fifth kill of the night. Again, five foot six inches tall, plays much, much bigger than that. Olivia Gast enters to serve. She hits the ball to the blasting game. Roaring's hit, scores, hit it off the hands of Olivia Gass. 16-15, back and forth we go in this set. Kill number three for Broering on the evening. It was 12 all, and we've been playing back and forth. One point Coldwater lead, and they lead by one right here. Teeman will set, and hitting it long. Everybody's looking for a touch. Do we have one? We do. Our R2 has the touch at the net, so that point will go to St. Henry and tie it at 16. I'm sitting in the top of the bleachers, Dave, and one of the ways you can tell if it's touched is the ball changes angles, and I thought it did that time. Good officiating job that time. 
Lauren Tiemann has turned to serve. Spencer Etzler hits and hit it long. So St. Henry will take a 17-16 lead. The last time they led, it was 12-11. And now 17-16. Set. Essler tips to the back row, but Mangin's there. Bomber goes off a of blocker and scores. Morgan Bomber with kill number six. Again, just as a fan of volleyball, I want this to be 20 to 20, and let's see who can get to five first. It's just really, really intense, high level high school volleyball right here, Mark. St. Henry led 12 10 earlier. Now they're up two at 18 16. And now it'll be 1916. St. Henry feels like they're putting a bigger fissure in that armor of cold water. Nikki Etzler's gonna call T.O. At a 1916, St. Henry leading the third set. You're watching high school volleyball on WOSN. The WSN Scores app is new and improved. Download the brand new app from your app store so you don't miss any of your favorite team scores. The new WSN app replaces the old app, so make sure you download it today and stay up to date on all the scores. Our Burke Petroleum scoreboard has 19 for St. Henry and 16 for Coldwater in set three. It's not monumental, but you can just feel a little bit of shift with the momentum going to St. Henry's side of the, of the net. A little more pep in their step. Coldwater, see how they're tested, see what kind of grade they get to finish this set out. With Lauren Tiemann to serve. Here's a set that will go to Spencer Esler. She has to tip it over this time. Morgan Bomber. 16 for Coldwater, 20 for St. Henry. Seven kills for Morgan Bomber. Coldwater takes the T.O., but St. Henry gets the point coming out of it. Riley Kanapke will enter between serves. Mia Kanapke will set Spencer Essler, who goes off a blocker. Riley Busher, Car Carly Busher, excuse me. And that ball is blocked by Carly Busher, but it's blocked out of bounds. Give Spencer Etzler the kill, number 13 on the night. St. Henry doesn't turn their shoulders in and push that ball back to the middle of the floor. Easier said than done. Three-point advantage for the Redskins. Kira Kanapke will serve 5'10", junior. Serves. Team in sets. Palmer goes off another blocker. Good diving play by Blasting Game. Out of the middle. Give that point to Carly Busher. Kill number 10 for Carly Busher. And where in the first two sets, the Coldwater fans have been on their feet. It's St. Henry's turn now in set number three. Morgan Bomber serves. Her team is up four. They need four to take set number three. Line drive serve. Here's the set. Spencer Etzler to Raya Busher. There she is. Morgan Bomber and it's blocked by Hein. What a great hit by Spencer Etzler, but Raya Busher puts it on display. What we've talked about all night long. Just an outstanding libero digs that one out. Three point St. Henry lead. And the serve goes into the net. From Riley Kanapke, it is 22-18 Redskins with Raya Busher to serve. Again, Coldwater has only lost one set all year long. And the Coldwater Cavaliers, Dave, are going to take a timeout at 22-18. And obviously, if you're St. Henry, you want to push this thing to a third set, or from a third set to the fourth set, and see how things go from there. But then you got to wonder a little bit if you're a Cav team that hasn't lost a set, uh, just to one set to Versailles all year. That's been a couple, three weeks ago. How that plays emotionally with them. Yeah, you know, again, the St. Henry coaching staff, if, I'm sure they've talked to themselves about it and how they've relayed that to the team. We just need to see how they handle adversity. 
We got to put that on them. Let's just hang around and hang around. Well, that's what they're attempting to do right now. Up four here in set number three. Coldwater was ahead 13 to 12. And now it is a 22-18 lead for St. Henry as Raya Busha will serve. And you can see the life over there on the St. Henry fan section, that's for sure. Absolutely and rightly so. Never say die, these Redskins. They need three to make it a, to the fourth set with Raya Busher serving. The left-hander pumps it to the back row. Spencer Essler, and it hit the antenna. 23-18. So right now, if you're cold water, you may not be able to come away with this set, but you want to neutralize the momentum that St. Henry has established. Spencer Essler again. And this time she scores for her team. Still a four-point Redskin lead. 14 kills on the night for Etzler now. Spencer had 17 kills and three aces when they played earlier this year, and she will serve. Teeman will set out of the middle and block and block into the net. Off the kill from Ellie Follenkamp. And here is St. Henry. They need one to make it a four, to the fourth set. Ellie Fullencamp with her hardest swing of the night. Blast it into the block and comes away with the point. Here's Addie Holman. To Campbell Etzler. To Morgan Blassingame. And she scores. 24-20. Kill number 16 for Blazing Game. She had 21 in their three set match earlier this year. Campbell Etzler to serve. Set by Teeman. Hit. And it's in. Ellie Folenkamp on the slide. Makes her team up 25 20, and they will take set three. We'll go to set four. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. On to set four, we go here at Van Wert High School. Our scoreboard today is brought to you by Burke Petroleum. Now offering propane for residential, farm, commercial, and industrial users. Burke Petroleum, dependable, available, 800. 776-3097. The first set went to Coldwater 25-16. The Cavs also won set two 25-15. St. Henry set three 25-20. Dave at one point. It was Coldwater 16, St. Henry 15, and then Lauren Teeman got to serve. And she got it going, put her team up 20 to 16, and they went on to win 25-20. And what St. Henry did in this third set is what Coldwater has been successful at doing all year long, and that's in the middle of a set, imposing their will on their opponent and creating distance. St. Henry did not let Coldwater run away and hide, so to speak. And right now, if you're a St. Henry fan, you're thinking in order to have a great comfort behind victory, you got to be behind. We lost the first two sets, but we're here now. We get this one, and anything can happen in a fifth set. Of course, this is just the second set that Coldwater has lost all year. They lost an MAC set to a rapidly improving Versailles team. And that was it on the season as they'd won every other set. So 69 yeah. and 2 right now. 69 and 2. Is that good? <laughs> that I think that's phenomenal. pretty good. Phenomenal. It? it is. And okay, it, that's tremendous, but look at the competition yeah. they play as well. And yep. that shows even more how, how uh, special that is. Here's Lauren Teeman to serve as we go to set four. And let's see if the momentum stays with the St. Henry team. The champion and the runner up in the match. These two squads. Spencer Essler rolls it to the center of the floor. Diving play by Balmer. Spencer Essler again. This time she hits it hard, but also to Balmer. Now Morgan gets to hit. And they keep it alive on the free ball over by Blasting Game. Out of the middle, Morgan Balmer gets it blocked. She gets another chance. Morgan Balmer all over the place on this volley. 
That kill attempt was by Hine. And then the kill back on this way by Carly Busher. St. Henry up 1-0 early on a tremendous volley. Tremendous volley. Morgan Bomber, I just locked in on her. She's running all over the court. She hits it, gets back in position, plays defense, plays offense. Just really, really spunky out there. And Teeman will serve again. Etzler block. Etzler again. This time she goes off a block and it goes out of the bounds. Miley Kramer was there, but the block went out of bounds. It's one all with Spencer Etzler to serve. Etzler with her 15th kill on the night. Get the ice machine yeah. ready for these ladies. A lot That's of swinging going on. That's what you do when you're a player of the year in the conference. Yes. We're tied at one. Carly Busher, that's blocked. I think that was blocked by Mia Kanapke. She was there along with Harlow Hine. It is 2-1 Cavs. Kanapke's 21st block on the season. Etzler serves again. Team in sets. Carly Busher's shot is blocked. I think that was blasting game. Yep. 3-1. Yep, she's the leader for Coldwater in blocks. Give her 41 now. Coldwater again serves. Former Spencer Etzler. Team in back sets. Kramer. Busher, free ball. See what the Cavs do with it. They put it in the hands of Morgan Blasting game. Bomber will hit again. Coldwater getting a hand on everything at the net. And blasted game puts one away for her team. Kill for her. She puts her team up 4-1. I don't know if that was the theme of the huddle between sets, but right now the blocking for Coldwater has been impeccable here in set number four. Spencer Etzler will serve. Floats it over this time. Teeman will set. And out of the middle, Morgan Bomber. She missed the back line this time. Hit a missile, just went long. 5-1 Cavaliers. So in the early going of set yeah. four, we're seeing the response by Coldwater, are we not? Got punched once and said, watch <laughs> yeah. this, we're coming yes. back. Long way to go, though, in set number four. Ellie Fullenkamp, excuse me, uh, Kramer, Miley Kramer's shot is blocked. It went out of bounds. So it is now 5-2. Give Kramer the kill, 54th on the season. <sighs> Bomber to serve, Morgan. Set. Blasting game wow. will hit. Hits it through two blockers. Kramer was there, so was Carly Busher. Again, a lot of times, Mark, when, when you win a set, you come out and you think it's just going to happen, you let up. St. Henry has not let uh, up at all exactly. here in step four. Coldwater has just gone to another level. And that ace will be chalked up by Campbell Etzler. She drilled it right down the sideline for a 7-2 lead. This is the definition of a response. That was close. Line just looked at it a long time. No argument from St. Henry's good call. But that was close. Here she goes again. Campbell Etzler. Set. Molly Wendell hits. Dumped over by Teeman, or by uh, Mia Kanapke. Ballmer from behind the 10-foot line. Blasting game hits, and it is in. Another shot right down the line. Coach Rosenbeck's got to think about the T.O. She's going to take it. That she did. Her team trails 8-2 in the fourth set. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN. Now the first 10 points scored here in set number four. Eight of them have been scored by, scored by the Coldwater Cavaliers, and they're up 8-2. This is like being on the elementary playground, and someone takes your ball, and you go to your older sibling, you say, they took my ball, and the older sibling says, what are you going to do about it? Coldwater is responding. Campbell Etzler serves. Carly Busher left it short in the net. It's 9-2. Campbell Etzler again. 
set. Molly Wendell. Uh, Flashing game. They come out in set number four, does Coldwater. No unforced airs. 10 to 2 lead. This is better than free dessert on your birthday if you're a Cavaliers fan. Cam Wessler was served. She scored four points on this rotation. Overpass. And Busher plays it over. Blasting game hits again and scores again. 11 2. All the service points in this particular set have been scored by somebody named Etzler. Wow. Spencer at first, and now Campbell, who will serve again. Set, Molly Wendell. Overpass, but it scores. Spencer Etzler got the ball up in the air, floated over the net, and St. Henry Red didn't rally to it. It's 12-2. What a, re what a response and mental toughness by Coldwater. You know, set three, maybe they realized they were playing with house money a little bit. Just let up a tad, and St. Henry was there to take advantage of it. That's the first unforced air I've seen on Coldwater's side of the net here in set number four. Six points were scored on service by Campbell Etzler. Now Raya Busher will serve, trying to get St. Henry back into this. And the overpass, and she gets an ace out of it. 12-4. That's her 37th, or excuse me, 19th ace on the season for Raya Busher. The left-hander will serve again. Dives that one over, Blasting Game gets there. And then Blasting Game comes up and hits it. She does so to Morgan Bomber. Ellie Follenkamp hit it. And Coldwater's going to get a point out of that. Was that blasting game on the second hit also? Uh, I don't know. It was, yeah, I know it was, it was Etzler the with way. the dig. That's what I was looking at. I mean, full and camp, she wound up and drilled that one. But Spencer Etzler able to dig it out. Mia Kanapke serves. Raya Busher will set Morgan Bomber from behind the 10-foot line. Etzler dives for that one. Another dig. Push her again to Wendell. And again. The ball was saved that time by Kanapke and done so illegally. Yeah, double hit there by Paige Ontrop. Yeah, the initial play was a good save. Yes. But then the second contact was. Ball didn't come yeah. over her shoulder, and she yeah. couldn't just hit it with her left hand, hit it with both, and did so illegally. 13-5 with Addie Holman to serve. Boring with a big hit. Great dig by Busher. It was. Bomber will hit again. And that ball is pushed to the back row by Morgan Blasting Game. It's 14-5, Cavaliers. 22 kills on the night. Double deuces for Morgan Blasting Game. Who had 21 when they played in three sets back in the regular season. That was Blasting Game's serve. Right there, Ryan Busher has to free ball it over. Set. Tipped over by Olivia Broering. Played out of the net. Good job that time by Tiemann. Great effort defensively by St. Henry. And then Spencer Etzler winds up and scores to put her team up 10. That may have been great defense there, Mr. Bowen, but we're looking to take the drama out of this one and the Coldwater fans on their feet. And with a 15 to five lead, they're going their way. The Coldwater team will take a timeout. We're back in a moment. You're watching High School Tournament Volleyball at WOSN. Back at Van Wert High School. Coldwater with a 10-point lead in set four. They've already won two sets tonight. Trying to get to set three where they can then head on to Northmont next Thursday night to play the Central District winner. We'll talk about that a little bit later on in our postgame show. We also hope to get an interview with the winning coach in our postgame show this evening as well. Mark, this is like General Yamamoto said after Pearl Harbor. I'm, af I'm afraid we have awakened a sleeping giant, and that's what St. Henry has done to Coldwater here in this fourth set. 16 to 5. And Morgan Blasting Game will serve again. 
They have put on a clinic in set number four. Well, they have scored 16 points, Dave, and they're only on their fourth server of this set. Yeah, they haven't had one complete rotation. Yep. That goes off the top of the net. And here's Molly Wendell. And they're going to say that hit the ball floor. Is down, yes. 16 6. Wendell with her sixth kill of the match. And Brianna Mangin will serve. Spencer Etzler makes it 17 6. Number 13 in your program. 18 kills on the night. And back to serve is number seven, Kira Kanapke. Kira's a junior, goes 5'10". Hit, played in the back row by Kanapke. And last game after free ball over, but it went long. 17-7. So St. Henry stabilized things a little bit, Dave, but not till they were down 10. Exactly. It's, it's just the blitzkrieg that they faced at the beginning of this set. And they're going to have to throw some points together to try to get this to set five. And that serve is out. Campbell Etzler, the freshman, she's a pup back there as the libero. She's had a good night tonight, makes a great decision right there. Riley Kanapke's turn to serve, the 5'6 freshman. Good serve from her. Manson has to dive for it. Morgan Bomber hits. That ball's hit over by Mia Kanapke for a point. She just is so effective when she decides to go with the kill attempt, either off of a set on two or when the ball is pushed to the net, and that's her best option. That's her third kill on the night. 19-7. That's tipped over by Tiemann. And out of the middle, give that one to Hine. 20-7. So Henry's out of timeouts. Out of timeouts, and the Coldwater faithful, they can sense a district championship. Again, St. Henry won this match last year. Set. Tipped over by Carly Busher. That ball's hit to the back row. She does it again. Mia Kanapke, 21-7. <laughs> again, we talked about adjectives earlier. I, I have nothing else to, that I can bring to the table. Uh, Coldwater's response here in set four after losing set three. 21-7. Morgan Bomber goes off a blocker. Has to play it herself. Carly Busher hits it long. It is 22-7. The last four points have been scored in service here by Kanapke. Set. Carly Busher's shot is blocked out of bounds. 11 kills on the night for Carly now. 22-8. Well, excuse me, that's 12. She and Ellie Fullenkamp are tied for top honors for St. Henry in the kill department. Here's Lauren Tiemann, her turn to serve. And that went long. 23-8. Coldwater, two points away for moving on to the regional with Spencer Etzler to serve. She started this serve tonight with scoring four points, putting her team up 5-1, and it's been a roll since then. Set, Morgan Bomber hits off a blocker. And then some miscommunication between Spencer Etzler and Mia Kanapke, and that's one of the few mistakes that that team was made here in this set. Exactly, and all night long as far as communication occurs, uh, they definitely were not on the same page there. You, that's a rarity. Morgan Bomber will serve. Set by Kanapke, tipped by Blasting Game. Brad Busher has to set Bomber from behind the 10-foot line. Blasting Game's gonna get a hit. Bomber diving save. Wendell with a hit, 
And it is 24-9. Cavaliers and their fans come to life. Opportunity for Coldwater to be district champions again. They're looking to continue the run to a state championship. Cambo Etzler serves long. <laughs> Adrenaline coming through the veins of the freshman right there. Yeah, and coach and head of household smiled at him too. <laughs> oh. Here's Raya Busher. Set, hit, blasting game. Teeman will set. Wendell dumps it over. Set, blasting game. Bedlam for Coldwater. The Coldwater Cavaliers will take set four, 25-10, and they will be district champions. in front of a packed and enthusiastic audience this evening, Dave. And, you know, I, I'm looking here at a Redskin team. They're going to be 20 and 5 on the season. They finished second in the poll uh, this year. And a lot of people are going, you know what? This could have been a state championship caliber match right here this evening. Just say Henry came up a little short tonight. An outstanding team, outstanding program. Five losses, two to Fort Laramie, two to Coldwater, and one to Ottawa Glendorf. <laughs> But Coldwater, the magic continues. 25 and zero, district champions looking to get that first all-elusive state championship in volleyball for the Cavaliers. They will go to 25 and 0 on the season. Our, our set scores this evening. Coldwater won the opening two, 25-16, 25-15. Sandry won the third set, 25-20. Coldwater come back to win the final set, 25-10. Scoreboard has been brought to you by Burke Petroleum. We appreciate their support. And David and I are going to head down to the court to do our post-game show. Our goal is to get with Coach Etzler after they passed all the trophies and medals and whatnot. And we'll bring that to you coming up right after this. You watch the high school tournament volleyball on WOSN. We're back at Van Wert with the winning coach, Coach Nikki Essler. Coach, district championship, congratulations. Thank you, a hard, a hard fought one. Uh, a, year, a year ago, you lost in the district championship game. A little bit extra motivation for your girls tonight? I don't know if it's extra motivation. I think that like whenever you play St. Henry and St. Henry quarter battle, I think that it's always like the game that you wanna be playing your best at because you know what you're gonna get on the other side of the net. You won set one, you won set two, you lost set three. What did you discuss with your team after set three? Set three, we talked about the first contact wasn't as good as it needed to be to put our team in offensive opportunities. And we also didn't block well. We gave them like eight blocking points on our errors. So we talked about making some adjustments in those two areas and then just continuing to put a lot of service pressure on them. And next, now you go to Northmont next Thursday night but you get to play somebody out of this area. You're not playing sh people from Shelby County and people in, in your league. Good thing, correct? Well, I mean, the MAC is so dynamically talented with girls that are just like, like Ellie Fulham-Camp, I mean, she's a beast. And so is like Raya Busher. Like those players are, you know, we're so proud of them because they're from our area, but they're hard to play against and they just make us better. So, I mean, I'm not sure who will get to play, but we'll be ready for it. One, one last thing, coach, and that is, Max schools, you're talking about Max schools. Trophy presentation, of course your people are here, but most of the St. Henry people stayed too. It's that type of league, isn't it? It is, and I think it just speaks loudly for the communities that we are a part of and that, you know, like we did the Pack the Palace together earlier in the season with St. Henry and it, just that whole idea of like a community taking care of one another and supporting one another. That's what it's about, and we're proud to be a part of it. So, Congratulations, Coach. WSN will be there next Thursday, and I look forward to seeing you again. Thank you. Thank you Thank very you. much. Yeah. Well, Dave, how about that? You know, it's a four-set victory, and the number one team in the state gets to move on. Number one team in the state gets to move on, but they were tested. St. Henry played very, very well. They won that third set. They earned it, and boy, Coldwater, faced with adversity, they came out and showed what they were made of. 
How about one more comment about that defense because we talked about it multiple times. They just don't let the ball hit the floor. They don't let it hit the floor. It starts with Spencer Etzler, but they do such a great job at the net blocking and getting the ball up to where they can return it. Blossom game, Morgan Blossom game had 23 kills, Spencer Etzler 18, and right now this team is having a magical season and they want to keep it going. Said a moment ago, they will be at Northmont next Thursday night. They play the 5 p.m. game against the Central District win number two winner. That winner will be determined on Saturday afternoon. WSM will be there next Thursday night. You'll be able to see that on Friday night, November 1st. I want to thank the athletic director here, Mr. Trent Temple, getting us going. And Megan Sherrick did a lot of work this evening running around with camera stuff and audio. And she's going to take this back to the station to edit it all together. We appreciate Megan as well. And Dave, it's a four-set victory for Coldwater. You've been watching High School Tournament Volleyball on WOSN.